Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel now. In today's video, we're going to be going over our daily charge DeFi update. So guys, if you are excited for the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe down below if you are new, and turn the notifications on so you don't miss a future video. Also guys, if you are interested, go follow me over on Twitter at JPKDeFi. It's what I'm tweeting everything that I'm doing, crypto and DeFi, before it gets to YouTube. And guys, if you are interested, there's a link down below to my premium Discord server where we have some good alpha going on in there. You know, there's a long list of benefits which is getting added to weekly and yeah everyone's having a good time and it's all good vibes in there so go and take a look at uh go and take a look at that if you're interested no need you know not forcing anyone to do anything there's no need at all just watching the videos is a lot of support and i appreciate that but guys without any further ado let's jump into today's video so charge DeFi. what's happening with charge well there's currently 28.7 million dollars in total value locked and 1.5 percent daily earnings now, if you guys have been living under a rock for the past 24 hours, you will know that the market is down massively, um, which kind of affects everything in the market and Charge DeFi is no exception. Now, if we take a look at this, you know, we'll take a look at the boardroom in a second and, and how much is, um, you know, how much is being affected by this market dip. But right now we can see that the price of charge is $311. Static is currently at 80 cents. So it's going to be testing times and interesting times for charge during these uncertain market conditions um, before we get into the border let's take a look at the farms you can see there's 13 million dollars in here and the charge to busd pool is currently paying about three uh 376 percent with four point well basically yeah 4.5 million dollars in there and the static to busd pool is currently paying nearly 500 percent a year at 7.7 .7 million so these two are actually paying pretty good i mean the charge to busd pool is paying just over just under a one percent per day and static to busd is paying 1.24 percent now the post pool is currently got a bit more money and um, paying 40% a year and it's paying out in BUSD, which is cool to see. So what could potentially be a good strategy? And look, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Don't take it as that. This is just what I'm doing in crypto and DeFi and sharing my journey. So just be very wary about what you're doing and always do your own research and never invest money that you cannot afford to lose. And don't follow everything that I say because I'm not an advisor. But in terms of the what could be a potential good strategy is during the in the boardroom as we're below peg you can see we're eight epochs now below peg um, and we currently sat 82 cents so I don't think we're going back above peg probably for the next couple of days at least to be honest um, in my opinion <clears throat> in my opinion but we can see that if we scroll down you can see the APR so what may be a good idea and for example when static to BUSD is currently paying out. 530% and the charge pool is currently paying at 93%. So what potentially could be a good idea if you come over to boardroom, unstake that, go over to farms and then potentially load up on some of these farms whilst we're below peg. You earn some charge in here and you earn some static in, uh, you earn some charge in here, sorry, and charge in here. So you're earning some more charge for when you're back above peg and then you can come back in here and then go ahead and convert that into more static to BOSD LPs and go back into the boardroom. That could potentially be a good strategy there but again you have to do your own research there now if we go and take a look at charges well first of all we'll go and have a look at what we've currently got so the charge pool hasn't paid out anything over the past 24 hours because of you know obvious reasons and the static bosd pool event about 11 bucks in there so we can go ahead and claim that if i want to um again nothing in sort of the the static nothing in the charge pool so far um because we're below peg so i could go ahead and claim this charge here if i wanted to i'm just going to leave that keep stacking up until we're ready to go again, so there's $16 million in here and there's quite a bit more in the farms as well. I believe, yeah, about, yeah, well, just, just under, well, about 11, 12 million in the farms there. So there you go, that's in terms of Charge DeFi. Now, if we go ahead and have a look at their Twitter and have a look at Charge DeFi, here we go. You see, again, they're getting closer to 10K followers here. Let's see if they've tweeted out. Yeah, so over the past 24 hours, they've tweeted a couple of times. Charge DeFi is happy to announce that the Charge team have approved the listing on BitGet Global Exchange. You can now trade Charge USDT pairs on their exchange. We'll be organizing an AMA with their community over the coming days. So if you guys saw my video yesterday on Charge, which, you know, if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing in Charge DeFi and my position, then I suggest watching the daily updates. But in terms of Charge DeFi, really what happens is, well, what's happened is they put a um they, they put a discord message out in their discord to everyone saying look this exchange is listed charge we didn't approve this we didn't know it was happening all that good stuff so we just be careful pretty much in terms of them listing it which is fair enough you know it makes sense if they didn't sort of apply to list on there but they listed charge um 
you know, it's it's interesting to see why they've done that. But they have now sort of approved the listing for BitGet Global. I, I don't think I've ever heard of this exchange, to be honest. Um, I haven't heard of them. But there you go. You know, they've now sort of approved that. So if you guys use BitGet Global, you can now go ahead and trade charge to USDT pretty safely on there as they have confirmed here, which is good to see. Another tweet, the new charge DeFi dashboard is live. Track your holdings, calculate your ROI and dive into the data of our for our protocol featuring a customizable interface. You can reach the dashboard through tracker.chargedefi.fi. Let's take a look. Now you can track all of your charge data, earnings history, account overview, ROI, view expansion, slash debt, boardroom farms, beefy wallet, 50%. 25%, 25%. That's pretty cool that they've now got this dashboard here. We'll go ahead and take a look at that in just a second. Tweeted that at 6 p.m. last night. It's superb, a long waiting come to an end at last. Fancy, awesome. I was hoping for this. Now, is there a dashboard to track assets in the treasury? This is a good idea, actually. I, I hope they uh, they do that. Sounds cool, but Static's been on a pick for 70 bucks now and still no rebase. There was a rebase, but the community not buying static, so it's under peg again. Remember, it's a community-driven project. Rebase work, but greed isn't. This is exactly pretty much it. <laughs> you know, um, that's it. It is a sort of, you know, the community does need to help out as well. So let's go ahead and take a look on Dex Green up for Charge, and we'll also take a look at static. So Charge is still holding up at $300, which is good to see even during this market. Later, later today, it could go a lot below that, so to be very careful, you know, it can always move and dip. So over the past 24 hours, it did actually come down to about 272. That was actually last night. And then we went back up to about 326, came down now, we're sat at $312. There's still $4.6 million in liquidity here, which is good to see. So if we scroll down, we can see there's a buy order of 3K there, but there is a lot of sell orders, $8,000 sell order right there. There's a lot of sell orders on this thing, which isn't good. I mean, people are taking profits. People are probably, you know, um, they're fudding out, right? They're, they're, they're scared, so they're buy, they're losing or leaving their position, but $7,000 buy order there, um, 5K buy. And this has all been within the last sort of hour, actually. That 7.7K buy was at 10 a.m. Now, if we have a look at that similar time frame, I mean, that was at 9.53. So that was probably this candle up here, um, this 7K in. Another 5K in, literally five minutes ago, which is probably this candle, to be honest. So yeah, there you go. There's a lot of buys, a lot of sells, which is you know, fairly interesting to see for charge. In terms of uh, static, we can see we were above peg again yesterday. We did go all the way back above peg this morning, actually, to 98 cents. And then boom, look at this massive candlestick down to 78 cents. Someone, there was a, looks like there was a massive sell off at around 5 a.m. this morning. Yeah, it won't let me look all the way down at 5 a.m., but people are buying back 5K, 1K. Um, $900, 1.3K. Uh, yeah, look at this. I mean, 3.7. There's a lot of people buying this thing. There's some sales as well, which isn't looking good for, for static because you know it's a community pr pr project, right? We want people to buy up static. $6,000 sell there just a minute ago, which isn't looking too good. So it's slowly climbing back up and I'm hoping it'll continue to slowly or, or quickly climb back up above our peg so we can start rebasing again. That would be nice to see there. But there you go. There's the charge DeFi update. Pretty nice little dashboard here in terms of the tracker, which is cool. You can connect your wallet up. This was tweeted out by Charge DeFi um, on their Twitter account, so it looks, you know, it, I don't know. You guys can have a look into that if you're interested. But there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below what you think of Charge DeFi. Are you still in here? Are you still making money? Let me know. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash the like, subscribe down below if you are new. Turn the notifications on so you don't miss a future video. Drop a comment, follow me on Twitter at jpkd so you don't miss a future video. Guys, go ahead and take a look at the Discord server. Link in the description to the free one. And there's a link in the description to the premium server. So go ahead and take a look at the list of benefits if you are interested. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.